All right. This is an update of an update of an update on an update of a update. All right. Uh, the hot side is already mocked up. I just got to finish that blow off. Uh, not blow off. But the wastegate going into the exhaust tube right there. It's going to go that way. Turn. And it goes into this one. This one is already mocked up. Going. Uh, but this, I have to take it all off. Uh, mock it into that engine. That's Danny's 3D printing. Uh, don't look at that. It's Danny's making a mess in my garage again. I cleaned my garage. Danny makes a mess. But that's Danny's 3D printing that he does not use. Right, Danny? You're Absolutely not. See? Okay. But we're going to mock this turbo kit onto that engine. Because okay. uh, Max going to come by and he's going to take it to his welder so they can take this all this system up wherever he chooses to take it. But I ha we have to make a little small video of how exactly it goes and what exactly they got to uh, weld. Because uh, this V-band to to this one, they don't match. And it's super w wiggly. So, But it came with its own um, V-band. You know, the, the, the exhaust part of it. So they have to cut it and weld it. But it has to be like almost the same measurement. Like they cannot go further in because it's going to push the tubings further back and it can't come back. It cannot come outwards because it's going to push the tubing outwards because this one, that one, you still got room to play in, you know, backwards and forwards. This one, you don't because, you know, the steering shaft, the alternator, the top of the uh, header and stuff. So this one has to be exactly where it has to go. That's why he has to come by. We're going to make a little small video for the guy that's going to weld this thing for him. Because I'm not a welder. I don't TIG. And Freddy doesn't TIG. He only, he's a general welder for structure. And this uh, red tunnel is going back in. Uh, we're going to hook up the battery today. Fans going back in. We're going to mock it before we take off the turbo. Let's make sure it, that motherfucker fits. We're gonna put a little radiator cover on it, make sure everything fits. And then when it comes back and I give the okay of all the welding and everything fits perfectly, we start on the cold side, we take off the bumper, we start fitting, messing around where we're gonna fit the intercooler. But I think this uh, has to go away. This is what the hood ledge connects to. It might have to go away, or I gotta figure something out that I can still, you know, redesign it and work with the setup. Probably we just, cause the grill needs this piece. This piece needs to go with this piece. So we're gonna see what can we cut just to fit the cooler back there and everything still works and nothing's gonna get damaged when you close the hood or anything hitting. Cause this is the, the release for the hood. So we're gonna see all that shit. Uh, I was telling Max we're probably going to need hood pins and get rid of the whole latch itself. But we're still not there until we put the cooler in there. But the whole front clip, not the whole clip, but the front uh, bumper and grills has to come out before we can test the cooler in there. And it's a big ass cooler. Uh, but for today, it's just taking off the turbos. Uh, mocking that up onto the other uh, engine where he we can make a video on the outside i have to fix a little bit on this down pipe and finish that but that will be on the engine we just gotta take shit off mock that up uh on the truck on the truck don't mind luna fat ass right there oh shit I gotta fix the color oh there it goes we have to, uh, all the new metals here, so I have to start assembling, mock this up so we can push them up. Because the other setup, like that setup, uh, these were inside the fender. And I didn't want to run them inside the fender because all the shit, you know. So we're going to push them up. We can still push them in further up. Have the exhaust, you know, run like something like that. Oh, we're not even recording. Just run the something in here 
it just depends on how much clearance because uh the shit goes from here to here so once we start mocking that up i can start mocking out the exhaust side and the same thing for this one they can go out to the welder and get welded with chentes but we get partly get down onto that one with chentes mc same thing I still gotta go in there, chop the frame up some more, start plating the frame. Um, we're gonna see what kit we're gonna use, cause this is the kit just like the trucks, but he still got his uh, exhaust kit, like the old, uh, the, the fucking um, speed engineering kit. So we still gotta fix this right here. I gotta cut it some more, cause still hitting the compression in the bottom over there. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. See if I can fix it. That's the max zoom. But let me point with my finger. It's point right there. It's touching the compressor. And then right here, you see right there, it's not enough for the AC fitting. So I have to trim more of the frame. I gotta box start boxing the frame so Freddie can come and weld the frame. But other than that. We're gonna see if the other, the other headers work with it. That's his original kit. So we can start mocking shit in here. Uh, we're gonna see about this. If not, we're gonna have to run the little tubular one that, uh, I forgot who's, I think Trink, Trink Chassis makes the little tubular one. Other than that, we're gonna see, cause I can put the turbo here, facing up just a slight bit, facing up. And we can do the down pipe too. But that side is going to be the hard part. Because over there has the, what you call it? The fucking steering shaft and stuff like that. So we're still not there. So we're going to try to finish Max. So he can take the turbo kit. We're going to jump onto this one. Just to uh, assemble the whole front end and start messing with the turbo kit on that one this one i have to pull the engine but i have to mark everything first pull the engine and start cutting and trimming and start boxing so freddie can come in and just weld this and then engine comes back in and then the whole turbo system gets mocked it mocked in here and that's about it so i'll bring it back as we go All right, we're bringing it back. Uh, okay. So we finished this side of the wastegate. Remember, I'm not a welder. They're going to take this and professionally uh, take weld this shit. So what I just did it is put it however I want it. Uh, this side is on the top side because of the AC. This side is on the bottom because of the steering. The steering goes straight through here, like that. So that's why it has all those bands. But that's it. It was ready to get picked up. So they can get it uh, welded and they're going to bring it back. We test fit it. Make sure everything is okay. Then the hot side gets powder coated. Uh, not powder coated, but it's going to get ceramic coated. And we can start the wiring process. Not the wiring process, but all the process of doing the cold side and all that shit. Right now they're doing the, what you call it? The fucking inner fender. But they got three hours in there already. And they already fucked up everything. Uh, don't forget to put the battery in there. Go, 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 keep going. Battery's easy. There's no don't let Danny talk to you like Hurry that. Up. I'm number one. Tell me. All of a sudden. All of a sudden. We We're hiring just... new workers. We're replacing Gary Rasho. Gary Look, he's crying. Is he crying? <laughs> Are you? Did you make him cry? <laughs> Move. All right. On this side, we just gotta change the fuel because still got the rubber line. I gotta change it to a PTF <laughs> line. Uh, this is the. What is this? This is the return. 
I gotta do the return. I gotta do the new feed. I gotta put the regulator back on. Uh, what else? That's about it. I still gotta find a fucking AC belt that fits because I already went through a whole grip. I, I think we already bought like five different AC belts for this car. And none of them fucking work. Even the one the fucking manufacturer recommended. Because that's the uh, dirty dingo shit. Is that a dirty dingo? Yeah, it's a dirty dingo. And then, nope. None of the fucking belts work for it. But, yeah, that's it. Oh, the day is done for today. So we are done for today once Danny's done for today. Uh, I'm... Helpful person. Mm, uh, tomorrow I will do the fuel system while Freddy finish whatever he's doing over there. And then we can jump on to assembling the whole front end. So I can start the hot side like that on that truck. Mm, I can jump back onto the MC. Uh, so this... The firewall is done. I just got to clean up some of the shits. And Freddy got to come back and weld some shit. Like this big old hole right there. Some hole right there. Finish that. Uh, and that's about it. But I can start assembling shit. Uh, make sure the hot side works. So we can get that shit ceramic coated too. And that's about it. Uh, this one. We're not going to run the intercooler. Because the intake has its, uh, a water to air intercooler. That one has an air to air intercooler. So that's why it's gonna run the big ass intercooler in the front. And on Chanta is gonna run double intercooler. One in the front and one in the, and the one on top. Cause he say he wants to drive this to Vegas and back. So we bring it in back tomorrow. Tomorrow I record for you guys. Cause we need to get back to the YouTube stuff and get back on the Push. shit. Push, um, but, but yeah. Hey. Say bye. Hiring new people.